Hi, my name is Ken from the Money Makers Academy. On this course, I will teach you on the ultimate guide on the 42 ways to drive traffic to your online course. Now, the day has finally arrived. You've finished creating your online course. It took several weeks, maybe even several months to create it, but that's okay. The important thing is that it is done. And after many long days and nights of being glued to your computer, creating, recording, and editing your course content, you have finally have time to enjoy the daylight again. But unfortunately, there's just one problem. Your course is completed, but nobody knows about it. And unfortunately, this isn't the movie field of dreams where the build it and they will come approach works. This is the real world where you have to hustle to promote your course and get some sales. If you forgot to create a marketing strategy for your course, well, don't feel bad. You're definitely not the first person to create a first course before they created plan to market it. We've got you covered. Now, in this course video, you're going to learn the best marketing strategies for selling online courses to create and to increase your sales and enrollments. The first few strategies should actually be implemented before you create your course, but the rest of them can be used pretty much anytime after your course is published. If you still have yet to create your course, now check out why Thinkific is listed as the best online course platform. Now, one of the most amazing ways to make money online while enjoying a lifestyle of freedom is to create an online course. But what's the gain of creating a digital product that works yet nobody knows about? There's nothing as sweet as having steady and consistent traffic to your online course that can even run on autopilot while you're an offline. Automating your traffic generation gives you the freedom to take some time off your business and still making money online. Owing to the high rate of competition to get people's attention on social media and other digital platforms, it's becoming an easy and becoming expensive to drive quality traffic to an offer. However, in this presentation on further discussions, I'm going to be sharing um, strategies you can use to get some traffic to your online course and these traffic generation techniques which most e-commerce experts also use are tested and proven and they can help you get more students to enroll in your online learning platform. So creating an online course can be beneficial in many ways for businesses, entrepreneurs and content creators. With an online course, you're able to grow your audience, share your knowledge with others and make passive income 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. However, creating and publishing the course is only half the work. Once your course is live, you will need a way to drive consistent traffic to it and convert those leads into paying customers. Now, we've compiled 42 different ways for driving traffic here in this course and some of them might be old-fashioned but still, they are still powerful tactics as well as newer strategies that are becoming more popular every day. So here are the list of the 42 ways you can drive traffic to your online course. On this presentation, on the ultimate guide on 42 ways to drive traffic to your online course, I'll be teaching you these tips. First, blogging, guest posting, blog reviews, relevance of YouTube channel, YouTube collaborations, importance of podcasting, podcast interviews, email signature, social media, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Snapchat, Clubhouse, Quora, Reddit, forums, SlideShare, optimize social media profiles, live videos, importance of webinars, the benefits of mini course, publishing a book, local events, leverage of marketplaces, join other instructors, supplement your business, business cards, advertising, Google AdWords, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, LinkedIn ads, Twitter ads, Instagram ads, local ads, radio ads, and lastly, banner ads. Now, are you excited to traffic your online course? 
Let's head on to the first topic, blogging. Blogs are a great way to send traffic because they have the power to search engine optimization, which will help more people find your content and in turn gives you views. Blogs also generate higher levels of social media engagement than other forms of online publishing, increasing visibility for both bloggers and their course creators. The great thing about blog posting is that you're able to write on niche topics around your core course content, and those posts can bring in visitors for years to come. This makes it an excellent marketing tool because of the way it turns your information into evergreen content. And another thing is that starting a niche focused blog is another smart way of not just getting more traffic to your online course but also a way to build your brand authority too in your niche. Online marketers with a reputable blog are usually respected. A typical example is the founder of this entrepreneur business blog, which who is Eminik Emmanuel. He is one of the most respected online marketers in Nigeria because he leveraged his own blog growth to sell his online courses and gain recognition even at the international level. And because of this halo effect that comes with having a respected platform, this consumer bias makes people respect everything else that has your endorsement including your online course being promoted with your blog. Now how do you start a blog? All you need to do is to secure your domain name from the name chip, get your web hosting from SiteGround and integrate both of them. You can take it a step further by enrolling in our blogging business masterclass where you will learn how to create a blog from scratch. You don't have to spend years or even months before you can start using your blog to sell your online course. All you need to do is to just write an education bias marketing content on a relevant topic on your blog and use inbound links to direct them to the sales page of your online course. A typical example when we create an article on profitable online business to, to start in less than six weeks and on each of the online business ideas, we will link them to our respective digital products. Guest posting. Guest posting is when you create an article, but you post it on someone else's blog. It's an inexpensive, easy to use method of advertising that can be done on any budget and will show up in the search engines with positive results. The best part about guest posts are their educational nature, information found on websites from authoritative sources such as Forbes or Medium tend to rank higher than other types of content. So you'll have more success at attracting leads if they're reading some something beneficial before clicking through what is you want them to buy from you. Another thing is that this is similar to influencer marketing but with a twist. What we mean is, in essence, is that it's about leveraging another authority's blog's reputation to increase your own perceived value before your audience. It's all about creating high quality content on another blog that is more popular than yours and linking back to your lead generation page. To get as many authority blogs as possible to guest post in, all you need to do is to master how to pitch your guest post to popular bloggers and blogs in your niche. If need to be, you can negotiate how much they will take for allowing you to post on their blog. In the course of educating their audience, you can use a content marketing strategy to subtly pitch your product in the article. Now don't forget to add a backlink to the sales page where you're promoting your online course so that you can be driving massive traffic to it. Blog reviews. You should consider acquiring bloggers to review your course. Bloggers are a great resource for sending traffic and increasing interest in an online course because they're able to reach more, pop, more people than you can as a business owner alone. While also being trustworthy sources of information, in many cases, it's difficult or impossible for business owners to create courses on their own website to generate enough buzz about the product themselves. Without help from the third-party influencers like bloggers with large followings, 
these individuals have already established credibility in specific niches that would make them perfect reviewers given what your company provides not only will this result higher visibility but also higher sales too and according to hubspot marketers who prioritize blogging are actually 13 times more likely to see a positive return on his investment but you already know blogging is valuable which is why you already have one but if no one visits your blog article how are you going to generate those links and or even more traffic or sales? YouTube channel YouTube is a powerful engine of traffic to any course or product. People have been using YouTube for years as an educational tool and now it has turned into the most popular video sharing site on earth with over 1 billion unique monthly visitors from around the world. Your content can reach millions within just a few clicks. You don't even need lots of followers if you're reaching 100 or 200 people per day then you'll be seeing some serious growth in subscribership which will translate directly onto more sales when they find out about your online courses through these videos because video is on almost every marketer's radar in fact 69 percent of marketers say their video marketing budget is increasing and on top of that Mobile video advertising is expected of total 72% of digital ad spend by 2019. But do you want to hear the best statistics of all? Marketers who use videos boost their revenue 49% faster than those who don't. I've been stepping up my video game as a result. Why? Because when it comes to channels for driving more sales, we should leave no stone left unturned. It can be easy to get comfortable with our current methods and tactics, but then we lose out on the big wins and possibilities of other platforms. If you want your conversions to increase, you need to diversify your approach. You can't just run ads and grind on your CEO to the first page anymore. More and more people want to watch video instead of reading text. A picture or video is literally worth 60,000 words. And what does that mean? People process an image or video 60,000 times faster than they do text. And the numbers for video success are somehow glaring. Facebook videos, especially for YouTube channels, is very skyrocketing every single day. So if you want to drive more sales, create a YouTube channel. You need to focus less on producing 60,000 words and more on helpful, value-driven videos. And there's no better place to get this done than making YouTube channels. YouTube Collaborations Collaborations on YouTube videos is a great way to get your course seen by more people and drive traffic back. The success of the video will depend in part on how you choose to collaborate, which could result in anything from doing voiceovers for each other's tutorial to having an interview with both parties involved. Just like guest posting on other people's blogs, collaborating with influencers on YouTube means you get to leverage the know, like, and trust factor that the channel has already created. This means that people who may not have known you before will instantly see you as an authority based on the recommendation of that influencer. Podcasting Podcasts are an excellent marketing tool because they allow you the opportunity for unlimited exposure and efficiency in targeting potential customers that may not be otherwise reachable through other methods of advertising, such as blogs and video. In addition, podcasts have high engagement rates with listeners being able to connect on personal level with hosts or experts that discuss relevant topics related directly to their interests. When someone listens to you, in audio form, it creates a deep, emotional connection that you can use to build a long-lasting relationship and in turn, sell them on your products. And actually, podcasts has been slowly but steadily increasing their listening audience. Since 2016 started, 21% of Americans 12 years or older have listened to a podcast during the past month. This comes from a research conducted by Edison Research, and as a result, 
there has been 5% increase of podcast listeners within the past year. Since then, many media companies and digital startups have been investing in podcasting. A podcast channel is a great way to build up your network. It helps increase visibility, credibility, and respect for you in the industry you're in. Podcast also helps you expand your connections and have the chance to meet people that you admire in the industry. Podcasts are slowly t- taking over the digital world. If you decide to start your own channel, here I'd like to give um, a little pointers on promoting your podcast channel and episodes. First, social media promotion. As you know, social media is a critical part of our daily lives. We found out about news, products, and entertainments, and even events through the internet. Another thing is share episode updates. It's very vital that every time you create an episode and upload it, you share an update across your social media accounts. This update lets your listeners know that there is a new content in your channel. Always include the link to your episode in your update. It facilitates the listener to go directly into your episode and start listening. Lastly, pin your episode to your page. No, I don't mean pin as in Pinterest. Pinning your episode to your Facebook or Twitter page will give your newest episode more post, more visibility. The pinned episode will be placed on the top of your page and it will not be moved. Even though you share regular updates, this ensures that your newest pinned post will be the first thing that a visitor sees when they access your social media page. Podcast Interviews A fast and easy way to get people interested in your online course is by talking about it on other podcasts. The Podcast Interviews allows you as the guest speakers to share information with not just one but a large audience of listeners. With all eyes on you, what you have accomplished or created, this method for sending traffic can be more effective than any other type of promotion currently available today. Podcasts are growing every day and you can find a show on just about any topic. So start reaching out to podcasters and see if you can be the next big guest. And with podcasting, You don't need to worry about your audience being so busy they can't listen and provide value. The great thing about podcasting is listeners can download episodes and replay it whenever they choose. Jogging, driving, working, relaxing, whatever the situation, listeners can consume a podcast episode with no effort. If listeners subscribe to your podcast feed, they can get episodes downloaded automatically on their devices whenever you release a new one. Now, it's much quicker than searching for a new keyword online and stumbling across your blog post or finding a video they like. It's also easy to get started. Obviously, the more successful your podcast becomes, the more you should look to invest so the quality gets better. Although, if you're starting on the journey now, it's fairly simple to begin. And all you'll really need is a computer, laptop, or smartphone, and even a software and a decent connection to the internet. I'll get into the specifics later on, because for now, let's just press record, talk, edit, and publish it. Email Signature The link in your email signature can send traffic from emails that your fan base reads, and it can be an easy route for optimization. If you are not convinced about this idea of adding links on the bottom of every single one of your outgoing emails, then think again. As someone reads your content via email, a simple call to action link is the signature will always be available if they want to find out more information. So putting the URL or URL to your online course in your email signature is a quick and easy way to capture more leads for your online course. Social Media In this day and age, it is hard to ignore the ever-growing presence of social media. However, what many people fail to realize or acknowledge are all the perks that come with using these vast resources for one's gain. 
One way in which you can do so would be by posting links relating to an online course on your respective account pages. Social media platforms are growing every year and new platforms are popping up every day. You can utilize these niche-specific platforms to your advantage and promote your online course to their respective audiences. Also, there are vast number of different social media platforms that are tailored to industry-specific needs, such as LinkedIn for business professionals or Pinterest for do-it-yourself. That means choosing the right platform can catapult you into the stratosphere with online course sales. As of January 2017, there are over 6 billion active social accounts on the most popular social platforms. It's obvious that social media has become a key part of the modern lifestyle. It has grown from places to connect friends, to marketplaces where brands and retailers connect with their customers, promote their campaigns, and provide more convenient ways for customers to make purchase. Reaching customers where they are is the prerequisite for all marketing strategy because customers today are online and social. It's important for marketers to keep track with social marketing to reap the rewards. With the rise of the massive marketing tools among the channels from free to paid, we rounded up the most effective techniques for you to embrace social marketing and get results with your strategies. One would be that Facebook dynamic ads, um, Another is to optimize visual content of your Facebook ads and also run giveaways to drive social referral traffic. Now this will be discussed later on. Facebook. With this platform, you are able to post content daily. Set up a page for your business or brand, run targeted ads to your ideal audience, and even create groups based on the topic of your online course. Facebook has become one of the most popular social media platforms on the internet with over 2 billion monthly active users. So it's no wonder that many courses use this method for advertising their content. Several years ago, Facebook was only used for personal communication and purposes. Mostly, individuals were using it to connect with friends and family. However, as the years passed and more and more companies and businesses realized their target audiences were on Facebook and started using it to promote their brands. This face, these days, Facebook is a major channel for brands to engage with their targets. And as a part of that, it is being used to drive traffic to companies' websites. It doesn't matter if your business is small, medium, or large scale as long as your customers are on Facebook. You should use it to drive traffic to your website. Engagement and selling on Facebook is a common strategy. Bringing leads and clients on from social media to your website opens a lot more opportunities. The major benefit is that you may convert them and work individually by personalizing communication and focus on closing sales. LinkedIn Now, LinkedIn is an excellent way to promote your online course. It has become the most important social platform for professionals and it's not just about networking it anymore. It can also be a valuable traffic driver. A common misconception of LinkedIn is that it only provides the opportunity to network with other colleagues in one's field or industry. But this isn't true. With so many new functions on the site including groups and answers, you're able to help people who are looking for advice from experts like you by answering questions they post while simultaneously increasing awareness around courses related to topics that will lead them back to enrolling in your educational programs and that is easy peasy. LinkedIn has emerged as the most useful social network for the B2B marketers. Facebook, Twitter, and the rest are crowded and noisy. Sure, LinkedIn is busy too, but it's a destination for people to connect with peers and learn about their industry. If you're looking to drive traffic to your B2B blog, this is your platform. According to a study by eConsultancy, LinkedIn is now responsible for staggering 64% of all visits from social media channels to corporate websites. Even more insane, 90% of all social traffic to B2B websites comes from Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, with LinkedIn accounting for more than half.
In case you didn't catch them, more than 50% of all social traffic to B2B sites comes from LinkedIn. Instagram Instagram is an increasingly popular platform for people to share photos and videos with their friends. Many companies now use Instagram advertising as a way of attracting new subscribers or customers. But how can it help your business? Instagram has more than 500 million monthly active users that follow at least one account every day on average. The format lends itself well to visual content such as pictures and short video clips, which are perfect for promoting online courses like yours via images rather than text-heavy posts like Facebook does. With just a click of a link in any post that you make on Instagram, as long as they're following you, potential followers will be taken directly from this social media site into your course sales page, where they might sign up if you have something of value to offer. Pinterest You can use Pinterest to drive traffic in a variety of ways. For instance, you could create boards that promote your course and pin them on topics related to the material covered by your online class so they show up when people search for those terms or interest. You might also want to consider using hashtags like words with like online course, ed tech tips, and many more, as well as tags such as webinar, e-learning, or even just praise like free education. Not many people know this, but Pinterest actually acts more like a search engine such as Google than it does a social media platform like Facebook. This makes it a great way for users to find niche-specific information that can be a great way to send people from the platform back to your course landing page. Because um, Pinterest is one of those platforms that many small business um, owners and bloggers overlook. This is often due to the misconception that the platform is only used for looking up recipes and home decoration ideas. However, there are several other blog niche such as fitness, DIY, finance, parenthood, tech, relationships, and coding that are extremely popular in Pinterest. There are also plenty of more traditionally masculine brands like Harley Davidson, Arts of Manliness, Lowe's, and Dollar Shaves Club using Pinterest as part of their marketing strategy. In fact, about 61% of the traffic to my fitness blog is that comes from Pinterest. If you've already started a blog, you know how challenging it can be to drive traffic to it, especially if you don't have the budget for paid ads and are focused on getting free organic traffic. Now, why is Pinterest great for driving blog traffic? Let's start with a few reasons why Pinterest is so great for bloggers and other small business owners. One is that it's a search engine. As I've mentioned, most people have the misconception that Pinterest is just a social media platform, but it's actually a search engine. This means that your content will continue to be found years after being published and instead of disappearing a few hours like on platforms such as Facebook and Instagram. Another thing is that it's easier to rank. Pinterest algorithm isn't as advanced as Google's, which means it's easier and faster to rank for popular keywords. The audience consists of high-income users, wherein 27% of adults who use Pinterest earn $3,000 to $74,099 per year, and 41% earn more than $75,000 according to the statistics. Because people are ready to buy, and 47% of Pinterest users make purchase decisions on Pinterest, which is more than Facebook at 15% and Instagram at 11%. Twitter Twitter has a lot of advantages that are methods that others don't have. Twitter includes hashtags so others actually know what they're reading about. As opposed to just scrolling past without any idea on the posted topic, there are hashtags like Hashtag online courses, where all tweets related to online courses go into one place. Now, that's very convenient, right? It's making them easier to find. If everyone uses this hashtag in their own post, it makes it easy to find 
information instead of going through dozens or hundreds of unrelated tweets every day looking for those few relevant messages out there. Twitter is the most useful platform for increasing traffic because it is a link-based service and many people love to tweet daily. So grab this opportunity and start promoting your blog on Twitter. With over 313 million active monthly Twitter users, you can find many new readers through tweeting as well. Now, if you use Twitter well, it can drive tons of traffic back to your blog. Just tweeting the title of your blog can actually um, link back to your site. And you need to be active and creative. Also, at the same time, you'll need to connect with more and more people on Twitter. Make sure to use short tweet. Include statistics and quotes. Make use of hashtag creatively because hashtags are a great way to connect with Twitter users beyond your followers. And there are great um, methods to use hashtags when you're tweeting to drive traffic back to your blog. Snapchat. People should consider the benefits of using Snapchat to promote their online courses. Snapchat offers many features that help with promoting an online course, such as stories and filters, which can be used for promotional purposes. There are many great examples of marketing experts who have found ways to leverage Snapchat to drive consistent traffic to online courses. You should definitely give this one a try if you haven't done so already. TikTok. When it comes to reaching potential customers, there is no better way than well-known TikTok app. It's a one-stop shop for social media and video marketing which has quickly become an essential part of any company's content strategy plan. But how does this popular new platform work? The beauty behind TikTok lies in its simplicity. Users need only upload short videos that are 15 seconds or less, showcasing what they do best from cooking food at home to teaching people guitar chords. Anything goes as long as you can make it fun. You should definitely give this one a try. TikTok's 1 billion plus followers love unique creative brands and it shows. Many businesses have enjoyed over-the-top success on the social media platform, building massive, highly engaged audiences quickly, sometimes even overnight. So turn your TikTok audience into paying customers with the simple steps such as setting a main objective before you drive any traffic to your website, you want to ensure that your marketing team is crystal clear on its goal. Like, why do you want to send traffic to your website? Now clarify your TikTok goals so that everyone in your team know exactly why you're driving traffic from TikTok. Another thing is boost your email list. Successful campaigns often revolve around adding subscribers to the brand's mailing list which allows them to send marketing emails. For example, the Crocs Shoes uses its TikTok profile link to send visitors to a landing page on its site where users are greeted with an email subscription sign-up form. Lastly, send the traffic to a promo on your website homepage. Many brands use their TikTok profile link to send users directly to their website homepage. Now this works well if you change your homepage with a new marketing campaign like Gymshark's TikTok profile link goes to directly to its website homepage which features its current product campaign, Clubhouse. Clubhouse is the new social media platform on the block which allows users to set up rooms where anyone can join and talk directly to one another. This app came out with a bang and internet marketers immediately saw its potential. By utilizing real-time voice communication, you can set up spaces where you can provide information on your topic of choice, as well as have other guests and experts come in and provide their knowledge. As you grow an audience and share your expertise, you can then direct people to your online course where they can learn the strategies and techniques that you are already talking about. Quora. Quora is an online question and answer forum that serves as a great marketing source for people with various backgrounds and interests. The website has helped many successful startups, particularly those in the tech industry, rise to prominence by providing them access to new audiences through its question and answer format. With Quora's large user base, over 200 million active users worldwide, each with their unique own skill set or expertise, 
there are plenty of potential customers just waiting for you. Reddit Reddit is a popular and diverse website that has many communities with various interests. This makes it an ideal place to post information about your online course, especially if you're trying to reach out to people who are interested in similar or related topics. The site also offers traffic stats for each link on the subreddit page, which can help give insight into how well your links were received by other Reddit users. This means you can really dial in your content and reach the right people for your online course. Forums Forum posting is a great way to get your course noticed because forums are discussion spaces where people from all over the world would come together and share their thoughts, questions, and ideas, really anything they want to talk about. This means that you have an opportunity not only to reach more potential learners of your course but also those who might be able and willing to help answer any questions or offer feedback on lessons in real time. SlideShare SlideShare is a great way to send traffic to an online course. You can provide detailed information about the content of your presentation by adding images, videos, and text boxes in order for people who are interested or have questions after viewing it. You can give students an overview of what is covered and then link to your sales page at the end of the presentation. SlideShare is an excellent tool for sending traffic to one's own high-quality courses on any major marketplace or your own website. It allows course creators many great marketing strategies through providing all types of multimedia resources that supplement presentations with valuable additional materials such as graphs, charts, infographics, and so on. Optimize your social media profiles. You can make your social media profile a powerful tool to market and promote an online course. Optimizing your social media profiles is the perfect way to get people interested in what you have available for purchase. Now make sure that when you're optimizing your profiles, you provide enough information for your ideal students to continue the relationship by creating a header image that attracts the right person, now a provocative name that calls out exactly who you want to work with, and a call to action in the form of a URL so that when they're interested, they know exactly where to go. Live videos. There are many reasons why live video is a great method for sending traffic for an online course. For one, it's more engaging. People like seeing and hearing from you in real time. Also, they can ask questions or tell what parts of the presentation were really helpful so that you know how best to make improvements. It also um, helps show off your personality better, which will help build trust with the potential students who may be considering enrolling in your courses. Live videos are a very effective way of attracting traffic because viewers want to see and hear content directly from the source rather than just reading about it on their screens. Webinars Simply put, webinars are like an online seminar where you can speak on the webinar platform itself while participants watch from their own computers. This is perfect for providing more information about what's offered in your course or company without having to go through all of it live during a meeting type setting. That may be difficult given everyone has different schedules. Webinars can also provide flexibility because people have multiple ways they can participate like by watching at home or any other location through computer by asking questions either publicly or privately using chat features and by viewing recorded slideshows so as not to miss anything being said. Mini course. Many people have trouble finding the time to read a book but they may find it much more convenient to watch video lectures or view webinars. A mini course offers in between solution that can keep readers engaged and teach them essential skills about your topic while still giving them something substantial to learn from. Now, a mini course is a great way to introduce people to your online course. It's often less time consuming and it can even be used as an incentive for them to buy the full versions of your product or service. Publishing a book. You might be surprised to know how many people are reading books on their phones and tablets these days. If you have an online course, a book is a perfect way to get your traffic there in style because everyone can access it so easily. 
publishing a book is one of the most engaging and novel ways to promote your online course. With today's publishing pat platforms, authors can keep their books on Amazon or Kindle for years while still updating them with new content as they learn more about topics that students are interested in learning too. Once someone has read through your book and is ready for more information, you can then send them to your course at the end. If they have taken the time to read through the entire book, they will be more likely to buy because they see the value in what you have to offer. Local events Local events are a great way to get people excited about your online course. For example, companies can organize regular meetings for local entrepreneurs in order to network and share ideas with one another. Some people even offer in-person courses on various topics such as marketing or finance which educate attendees while also pushing them towards becoming customers. The added bonus is the direct relationship building that you will gain from doing an in-person event as opposed to talking to someone over the computer or phone. Leverage Marketplaces Creating an online course can be difficult to get started on, but there are resources that will help you dive right in and give your idea the best chance for success. One way this is possible is by leveraging course marketplaces like Udemy or Skillshare, which offers tools such as large network of potential students who have already taken courses from these platforms before. You can put a simple or sample or beginner's version of your course on the marketplace and then direct people back to your website where they can get the full version. Now this allows you to leverage the student's base these marketplaces already own as a means to drive traffic back to your business. Join other instructors. Co-teaching is a great way for instructors to teach online courses and it's one of the best ways to increase traffic. Instructors can work together on content development as well as help each other with course promotion strategies while providing students with more contact opportunities because co-instructing requires less time commitment than teaching independently because there are two people instead of just one instructor working at the same time. This actually can speed up the process of course creation or can double the amount of information given on a particular topic. Supplement your business. If you have any types of business, whether it be online, brick and mortar, or even e-commerce, online courses can be a great way to add extra value for your customer. Courses can be a bonus for your services or even as a separate product to complement what you already have. The use of online courses is something that can be used to draw people in. Most notably, an online course may serve as the perfect incentive for potential customers to sign up with your company or service and purchase from you. Business Cards Business cards are one of the oldest promotional tools in existence. From a distance, they look like a simple pieces of paper with someone's contact information already written down on them, but these little tokens can be so much more than that. Business cards represent an opportunity to create relevant conversations and build relationships which may lead to further opportunities for you or your business partner. Plus, it's handy to have them on you at all times, right? So that whenever the topic of your niche comes up, you can just hand over a business card with a relevant link for information. Next slide. Advertising. If you are seeking a way to drive a traffic and increase enrollment back to your online course, well, paid advertising might be the perfect solution. Paid ads on social media sites or search engines will deliver viewers right into the learning experience that is waiting for them to in your course. Paid advertising can generate new prospects as well as bolster enrollments from potential students who haven't been exposed to it before. Advertising is one of the fastest ways to get people into your world because you're able to promote your course directly without having to spend the time it takes to grow an audience through means such as organic marketing. Google AdWords If you want to get traffic for your online course, then add Google AdWords is the great way of doing that. The best way or the best part about using this method is how easy it can be done and the time saved in generating leads. 
This powerful tool can be used for pay-per-click advertising, targeting audiences, based on location and search history, remarketing campaigns that target people who have previously visited your website but did not convert into customers or leads yet, and much more. Facebook Ads Facebook is a great way to reach an audience of people who already in who are interested in your topic. It's easy, quick, and cost-effective for anyone with the skill set. Facebook Ads allows you to target individuals based on their location or demographic information such as age, gender, and interest. Now, this allows prospective customers like yourself to access content that matches up closely with what they're looking for without any extra hassle from traditional advertising methods such as television commercials, YouTube ads. Why is using YouTube ads one of the best ways to send traffic? Well, it's simply because YouTube has the largest viewership of any other video sharing website. For example, in 2016 alone, there was an average of 1 billion hours watched every day on YouTube by viewers all over the world. Using this large audience base means that you can be targeting people from around the world who are interested and would want your product or service. That also leads to another reason why they're so effective. Their ability for profiling potential customers based on what types of videos they watch online. You can serve a YouTube ad directly to your ideal customer based on a keyword or even your competitor's company. This makes getting your course in front of the right people one of the quickest methods in marketing. LinkedIn ads. LinkedIn ads are another way to send traffic to an online course. This can be done by using the audience targeting and placement options that LinkedIn provides which will show your ads relevant to those you're trying to reach. LinkedIn ads gives you many options too, such as conversational ads that are displayed to look like you're just messaging someone naturally. LinkedIn is a perfect because it has so many different types of users who makes up its demographic, including professionals with high incomes. Now, those most likely able to afford courses, but also entrepreneurs, business owners, freelancers or contractors, and more. Twitter ads. Using an online course is a great way to go about learning, but traffic can be hard to come by. For those that are looking for quick and easy methods of getting more people involved in their courses, Twitter ads might seem like the perfect solution. Twitter ads offer advertisers one-stop access on where they find potential customers with just a few clicks. The advertising platform provides valuable insight into what kind of content will perform best based on the past trends, which helps you optimize your campaign as well as make informed decisions throughout the entire process. Instagram ads Instagram is a great way to promote your online course. The ads are designed for social media and can be personalized with the images of people who have taken part in or benefited from what you're selling which will make it more enticing and believable it's easy to set up and because it's related to facebook you can easily run both instagram and facebook ads at the same time from the same source instagram advertisements feature beautiful designs that grab attentions while promoting an idea behind them such as sending traffic to one's website where they offer courses on various subjects like cooking, sewing, cosplay costumes, and many more. Local ads. Local advertising is a great way to get your word out about an online course that you offer. Well, in it's, in it's expensive and has the potential of reaching more people than just those who are looking for courses on your website or in social media groups like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchats, and many more. If someone sees one product advertised where they live, Oftentimes, they will notice it with every other ad because their brain starts associating local ads as being something worth investigating. Now, this is especially a great tool if you're using online course to go along with your local business, like woodworking workshop or in-person dance lessons. Radio ads. With radio advertising, you have the opportunity to spread awareness of your online course and reach a large audience. In addition to this, because people are not able to read at all times during their commute home from work or school, they will need something that is stimulating like an ad or radio station. 
though it's an older method of, adver of advertising and often it is being overlooked, the power of using radio ads can greatly increase your chances of getting people into your online course because most people just ignore them. I want you to give it a try and let us know how it turns out for you. Banner ads. Banners are a great way to promote your online course, especially if you're starting out with little or no budget. They can be shown on various websites and they don't need any interaction from the users in order to, for them to work. The use of banner display advertising is actually an excellent method for sending traffic to your site because it's easy, affordable, and effective. What is also great is that you can contact smaller blogs or websites and work with those companies directly, thus lowering the cost of advertising versus other mediums such as Google AdWords or Facebook ads. Affiliate Program You may have noticed that many online courses offer an affiliate program. What you might not know is that the importance of this is partnership for your course and its success. An affiliate program means that others will go out and market your product for you for a small commission or compensation. Affiliate marketing has been a popular form of advertising in recent years. As companies are looking to build their customer base without paying out large sums on traditional advertisement channels such as televisions or print media ads. Well, there are a plethora of affiliate marketers out there who actively look for great products to promote and make money from. So why not give this one a chance and relieve some of the stress of advertising the course yourself? Well, that's it for this course presentation. Thank you for listening on the ultimate guide on the 42 ways to drive your traffic to your online course. I do hope that you have learned a lot because for me, in my own experience, applying this on my online courses has actually been effective ever since. And I hope it works out well for you too. Once again, thank you for listening.